Hello world, how's it going? Now, some of you guys may have seen my video that I already have that I did backyard dirt from Indiana, old video. I absolutely love that stuff. Still have tanks from that backyard dirt and that dirt was completely different. Now, I am in a new state in Florida where it's more of a sandy dirt and I wanted to share with you guys, I wanted to go collect some of that with you guys and also talk about how these react with water causes all kinds of stuff and how I process it. Also, this can be integrated into the old kind of like backyard dirt where it's more clay based that I had in Indiana. And stick with me here on this video because when we get into the causes and the effects, when we add the substrate and stuff like that, it'll give you guys more of a vision what actually happens, what and why. Now I could dig a hole out and dig some dirt too. There is a few different shades and colors of it. And there's actually this lime rock. See this layer of lime rock in there as well, which, which I have been using in my shrimp tanks to help give them some calcium and stuff to eat off of. Now I could use this sand where it seems like the darker is underneath and the lighter is on top. But now where I'm at, we get ant hills that are pretty big. They actually leave out a lot of the sand for me. So what I've been doing is actually just been digging off the top, scooping it into a bucket. That way you don't have to dig holes into my yard. Thanks to the ants, I've got two different types of sand from two different parts of my yard. But even if you don't have this, everything that will go into the video still help you. And it's kind of wild too. Some of these ant hills actually had different color. Some were darker, some were lighter. So I kind of use that in my scheme of things. This stuff was nice and silty. But even if you gotta dig it, these next processes will help you. Now where you get your dirt, keep in mind where you get it from. You haven't been spraying or using chemicals on your ground. You could get it from the woods. As long as you ain't been spraying anything on the ground and stuff, then um, you should be good to go. Now another really handy tool for aquarium keepers is a mining kit. I do have these on items I use from Amazon. Should be a link there for them. But if you don't have one of these, you could use like a window screen. And I've already processed all the sand that I've needed for my tanks. But what I would do, dump it in here and kind of shake it, spin it around. Then it'd separate the sand and then chunks and debris. And I would just dump into another container. That way I'd have nice fine sand. But with the final product, now usually I would get like a cardboard piece and put the sand on it and let the sun dry it out. This time I was ballsy, I just threw it in and I haven't had any issues with it. Last time I dried it out with the clay, the dirt dirt, the like regular dirt that's not so sandy and silty. It needs to be dried out more because it'll hold that moisture in. Also do that with rocks and driftwood too. Because believe it or not, the sun is actually a great cleanser in how people used to clean their clothes, hanging them on the clothesline back in the day. This is what I was left with. Nice fine grains. Some of that Eco Complete came from another plants you can see in here as well nice smooth fine sand now with this tank see how it's cloudy big reason this tank would look like this tank if those weren't in there so if you got quarry cats shrimp pandagaras placos anything that'll be on the bottom catfish and kick around sand you can end up with cloudy water like this now if you can manage to not disturb it or disturb it lightly when planting your plants which i did plant these in there and it still looks like this is settled and that's because it's filterless and it settles easier now with this i'm hoping to filter it out through time because i have a nubiuses in here which i was kind of hoping they'd clean but i'm actually going against the grain these guys really shouldn't be in here i should probably actually have guppies in here they'd be cleaning that off i should even take that out make it nothing but a guppy tank if i really wanted to approach that correctly so what causes that i believe is a clay a bit of clay that gets within the sand and it gets into the water column and it'll make it real cloudy now when it comes to adding your sand to your aquarium you want to add the sand before you add the water then as you add the water you use a lid like this and pour the water on top of it that way it doesn't disrupt all the sand and a big no-no if possible try not to add it 
after you've got water into it because it makes it so much harder to clean the water after you've added it because what will happen is all that stuff that gets kicked up gets dispersed absolutely everywhere so it'll take a while till it clears up i couldn't see through this yesterday it is clearing up some a little over time it takes time for that clay to stick to each other but if you add the sand or dirt after the water's in it you're gonna be fighting all kinds of water quality, visually quality issues. As far as the fish, they don't care. You got good hardy fish, they do not care. And here you can also see the clarity difference. Here's where the Pandagaras were. You can see on the other side and these tanks, absolutely clear. Same kind of sand, carob sea, that stuff's really clean. Play sand's kind of like my backyard sand. If you disturb it, you'll get clay material everywhere. Now, I did try to rinse the stuff that's in the big pond and it took just the junk out but even rinsing it till the tote was clear and the sand was all disturbed and i i mean i pushed it and let it run forever it was the same sand that i put in here because i knew i was doing it afterwards and it still clouded that up but these filterless tubs they're looking pretty clear settled i did have to knock the clay dust off the plants so keep that in mind that you may if you do disturb it have to knock that dust off the plants and then that'll help them grow but yeah that's how i save a lot of money by using my backyard dirt because shoot if i would have that tank that tank that this whole pond that that and that all free sand that would have cost me a ton of money cost me nothing yeah these guys definitely coming out they are mucking it up and as you see the clay is settling down a lot more the next day after and for those little particulates that the screen did not filter out as you can see they're on the side small bits of leaves wood whatever the man got in the sand roots best way to get rid of that old fish container or something of the same a cup or something along the edge kind of up down that way it gets it off the edge because it likes to stick to it work your way around empty as needed deeper it is the more you can work it but if you don't get this stuff out it'll turn to algae now if you got placos placos like to eat that so i hope this video helps as many people as possible whether it be with water quality what and why whether they're looking for cloudy water or even for free substrate and it saves them some money i hope that helps as many people as possible and with you guys sharing this can help that come true and i appreciate all you guys watching all your support until next time everybody peace have a great one